I was born two pounds, three months premature, in the back of a truck in the Sahara Desert. My parents took me to the nearest village to see the doctor at a hospital. And the doctor there threw me in the mortuary and left me for dead. He gave up on me. My mom saved me. She nurtured me, she loved me, she protected me. And six months later, my parents took me to France to seek medical attention. And that's when I was diagnosed with rickets. So they decided to stay there because I was injected with a medicine every single day. And for two years, two years, I was in and out of hospitals. So of course, my father had to start working there, doing whatever he could to sustain the treatment. Growing up in France, it was something that really, really hurt me deep down inside. You get bullied, you get beaten up, you get locked in a, in a bathroom all day until a janitor f finds you. The, the belief is that if you were from somewhere else, you're automatically dirty. We were put every morning in a room separated from the French classmates and put in a room and sprayed with anti-lice sprays. You get put in the corner of a class on your knees with your hand behind, hands behind your neck. If you drop your hands, they'll kick you in the middle of the back. You fall, you back, they, they help you back up on your knees. And that continued for hours. My problem is that I was fearing the bullies and I was fearing the teachers. I was fearing for my life. Imagine you go to school and you're scared somebody's going to kill you every day. 19 years old, I was 108 pounds. Most of my sisters were bigger than me. A statement that lasted how long? Five seconds? Completely changed my life. I tried to find out. I was so furious, sad. Same chatter was going on in my head. Why am I like this? Why am I feeling so miserable? 19 years old. And all of a sudden, well, I saw the picture of a gymnast that was doing the Iron Cross. The body, so beautiful, so powerful, strong, everything I was not. That was the light, so to speak. I saw the light. My whole entire being was changing. I won the French Championship, the European Championship, the World Championship, the World, world Overall Championship to Mr. Universe in four years. And it's only by becoming an international figure that I was able to navigate my way. I see now that there's a lot of anger, you know, with what's happening. This country and the world is under a tremendous amount of fear. That is something that is added on to the already existing racism that is prevalent in European countries and France specifically. So, if you are discriminating because of religion, because of race, you're actually putting so much pressure on those already lost kids that these kids don't know what to do anymore. 
there's an other entity that is recruiting these kids and teaching them how to belong, promising them that they are going to belong to a greater cause. But in France, nobody tells them they're worthy of anything. So it's time to change that. It's time to have a forum of people just like myself, some other celebrities, some movie stars, some sports celebrities, tell their story. And I'm talking about North Africans or Africans of Muslim descent, okay? To tell their story. Not belonging is something I felt for a long time. So I want to teach them that, to teach them and tell them that they do belong. They belong to themselves. They belong to a greater mission on earth. And that mission is simply not of violence. It doesn't stem from fear. But it stems from love. It can feel dark where they are now. It can really feel dark. How to switch on the light is what I want to teach them.